Hello and welcome back to Trailer Shows. So we're at the in the galley and there is a mysterious man resting whom we want to get to know. And you know what else there is? There's a kitty! There's a black kitty. Oh it's so cute. Um yeah. Back to serious pirate business. You approach the man sitting at the table and recognize him as another member of the crew. This is the ship's cook and his name is Bran. So we do know some names. That's good. Where's Kale? Bran responds rather disrespectfully. Kale? I don't know where that man is, nor do I want to know. I have no respect for him. The crew doesn't trust him, nor do I. What kind of first mate gets sick and ignores the crew? He's got a point. You are about to ask Bran to explain himself further when you hear the arguing up on deck stop abruptly and the crew begin to bustle about. This piques your interest and you immediately head up on deck. You arrive on deck to see that Kale has finally returned to his duty. Oh, we get to know Kale, the mysterious, double mysterious man, because Ben was mysterious, so Kale has to be double mysterious, since we still don't know him. Even though he still looks unwell, he appears to be taking charge of the situation. <coughs> Alright, let's see. This guy. What did you do to calm down the crew, Kale? You ask. Captain, it wasn't me. The crew spotted something, actually two somethings. We have two boats in view. One to the starboard and one to the port side. What is your command? Command? Um, what do you mean? Captain, the crew is anxious. They need to be satisfied. Which boat, Captain? Which do you pick? Still not sure what is meant, because we are the best captain in the world and we don't have a clue what we are doing. You determine that you need to make a decision to keep confidence with the crew. Uh, let's first have a look at the situation. You climb up the crow's nest. It is really high up and you begin to feel a bit dizzy. Off in the distance, you think you see something, but it is too far to make out. You pull out your new neoscope and twist the center so it is set to normal view. You put the neoscope to your eye. What do you intend to do? You look ahead and to your surprise you see land. You recognize the island of Zandiri uh, Zandiria. As we learned from the song, it's not Sandiri, it's Sandiria. Your intended destination. You can't believe you are that close. Excitement fills your heart. You look off in the distance on the starboard side. It takes a moment, but you finally spot a small boat with two men in it. They must be fishermen from a nearby island. You look off the port side and immediately see a ship. The ship appears to be some sort of trade ship. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, starboard side. Um, fisherman, port side, trading ship. Let's look at the port side. You command the boat to approach the ship off the port side. The crew cheers at the command and you wonder what is in store. As you sail closer, the ship comes into view and you recognize it as an Evanorian trading vessel. You take the opportunity to ask Kale while the cr crew cheered. Aye, the crew needs to be sated. They want a payoff on this trip and the ship looks good as any of them. As for me, I would rather 
be we heading toward the big prize, but I suppose such a detour can't hurt any. I suggest you play along unless you want a mutiny on your hands. You look and see the crew launch flaming arrows on the deck of the defenseless trading vessel. Oh wow. Like, we are the pirates now? That's a bit disconcerting. We can have the crew defeat the trading vessel or stop the crew from attacking the helpless vessel. And since we are all covered, or at least I am, we will be helping the crew so that we will not get into any trouble. You look for a way to help on the assault of the helpless trading vessel. Taking a grappling hook in hand, you flee to the ship attempting to catch the railing of a Norian vessel. Lux seems to be with you as the bow sinks into the hull. Seconds later you curse your luck as the waves cause the boats to pull apart slightly, jerking the rope which is still in your grip. With a violent force, you are flung over the side of the ship and into the ocean in between the two vessels. Quickly you grab hold of a piece of debris as you are slammed into the hull of one of the ships. Uh oh. You go unconscious. <sighs> you feel like dreaming. It's as if you can hear the wings of the soul griff as it's circling above you. By the way, the soul griff in Santeria is the symbol of death, so this is not a good sign. <laughs> then everything turns silent. And darkness embraces you. And the way it looks, this might as well be the end of your ambitious adventure. However... Huh, we made it guys! Yay, we made it! We attacked a defenseless, defenseless vessel <laughs> and we survived. That's, that's good, right? This 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 is probably good. <laughs> um, you wake up on the beach disoriented in pain and well wet. You have no idea how long you have been unconscious, but judging by the sun it appears to be mid morning. After coughing up a bit of seawater, you look back out of, at the ocean, hoping to see your ship and crew, but nothing is there. You quickly check your belongings and note that you still have the Neoscope and the ornate dagger. As you stand up in the shallow water, you attempt to wipe the sand off your clothes, but you realize it is useless. Luckily the sun is hot as it beats down upon you, and you will be dry quickly. Uh, luckily the sun is hot and as it beats down upon you? I don't know. I don't think it's it's a good thing. It, it might give us a sunburn. In the meantime, you decide you need to find something to eat. As you scan the shoreline, you cannot not believe your eyes. There is a hut in the distance, exactly matching the one you saw in the Neoscope. And we completed the first chapter. I think that's great, and this is a good chance to say that we will see each other in the next video, and thank you for watching.